why world government leaders won't tell citizen the truth or citizens the truth on the future after this whole COVID-19 pandemic. Did anyone ever took the time to think about that? Many people doesn't because they feel like everything is going to be Gucci. Everything is going to be all good. I'm going to make this money. They're basically not caring about tomorrow. It may be a good thing to think that way. But it's actually bad to think that way during times like this where coronavirus cases is keep increasing on the on the media. They're heavily promoting this. They're showing you in your face that oh heck no. This lockdown is going to still continue. We were in March of this year. April, May, June. People kept saying the coronavirus quarantine is going to be over soon. The coronavirus quarantine is going to be over soon. The coronavirus pandemic and quarantine is going to be over soon. Where are we at? We're in August. Nope. We're still in this stupid ass pandemic. And people don't 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 think. So there's some people that thinks that oh, there's going to be something that the government is going to do and then that's the problem. You're depending too much on man. People puts all their trust on a leader. They could be up to no good. They could do crap. They could be a Satan worshipper, but people won't care as long as the government takes care of it. They think that the government is going to always solve their problems just so they could get by. The government is going to always give you handouts. They're going to always take care of you. This is why a lot of men doesn't have respect for women that are living under big daddy government. And in some cases, things may happen. I'm not going to judge everyone for this, right? But big daddy government isn't going to tell you the raw truth about what's going to happen after this pandemic. And they're probably preparing to know, like, look, if this pandemic continues, this is what's going to happen in the future. A, B, and C is going to take place. We're in a a coin shortage crisis. People kept saying that there's not going to be any such thing as a a, a coin, coin shortage, money shortage, paper is going to keep running, coin shortages is going to keep running. We've been in a huge debt inflation. And this is for people who live in America. We've been in so much debt for a long time. We're just catching up right now. We're catching up to the point where money can definitely run out. What's going to happen if money runs out? What's going to happen to people who are already working in the economy? You you think that p- the taxes that you're paying now is okay? God forbid if there's a Great Depression in 2021 or 2025 or 2030 and it gets bad where people definitely lose their jobs. I'm taking this life seriously. I'm going to take this coronavirus pandemic seriously because a change is coming. A change is going to come. They're implementing all of these ideas. They're implementing these things in our everyday lives. The little chip that we have on our debit cards and all that. It's true. So some people may uh, think that, um, that I'm making this up. It's happening in front of us. There are signs that are out in local corner stores and bodegas and places that I've went to that said, hey, we're on a coin shortage nationally, okay? A national coin shortage. So please, if you have any change, please donate. What's going to happen when we're on a a green bill shortage? Money shortage. Everyone's going to automatically be digital digitalizing uh, uh, their money their purchases the marketing values of paper is going to decrease paper and coins is not going to have any value in the future if it's not going to be needed in the future it's going to lose its social value and because of the six the six uh, feet distancing right Because of this, they could use this as an excuse so people don't get in contact 
with with money and coins all together. You could just use your card and you'll be good. Your card will be everything for you. But if people lose their card, what's the what are their ideas going to be? Let's just chip everyone and cattle everyone by putting a chip in your skin and your skull. So you can have your social, your your information everywhere you go. You'll be like a robot, like a machine. A slave to society because you're worshiping the world just to live. You're surviving. You're not living. There's a difference between living and surviving. People are just going to be surviving in that moment. The truth is already in the pudding. All this is happening in front of our eyes. Yet many people are too asleep to to not care because they don't want to wake up. They're too comfortable. They know the truth exists, but they're just ignoring it. So they're, they're thinking in their delusional mind, they're pushing out the truth so that the truth could be a lie and the lie is the truth. Why do you think people, so many people are talking about get bad as being good and now good is being seen as bad? Because now good is being seen as bad because a lot of people does not like the truth. They, a lot of people does not like, like being corrected and it's facts. It's true. I'm just being, um, like, real here. And uh, this world is not really getting any better, guys. Hmm. No, because the the thing is that, like, it's crazy enough that... A lot of people that I've noticed on the YouTube sector, Facebook, Twitter, it could be any social media platform, Reddit. For those of you who know what Reddit is, it's another foreign site where there's a lot of uh, posts and uh, and chat groups. Um, many people are talking about the same thing that I'm talking about. And they think nothing is wrong. They think everything is beautiful. I'm going to just make this money. I'm trying to get by. There's no problem with that. We all have our bills that we got to pay. We have no choice. And the hard part is... That... The American economy... Right? The American economy is run like a cycle. You go to school. You graduate. You have to find a job. And before you find a good paying job, you have to go through the jobs that you with to make some money for a living while you're going to college. And once you graduate from college, you get that dream career. And then that's it. Life is like a cycle, right? But when I brought up the cycle, it's a cycle of whether people choose to be in that cycle or not. But if you don't choose to be in the cycle, then what's going to happen? You're going to be broke. You'll be homeless. And many people, I'm not saying that many people should uh, just be out of the cycle. You should not be part of the world. You shouldn't follow the world. If you have no choice but to do certain things, then okay, by all means you don't. I'm not perfect either. My situation is not the best. I'm working right now, and I just recently moved from my uh, old apartment to my new apartment. I'm trying to make moves, make ends meet, and do what I have to do. There's some sacrifices that people wouldn't even want to make. It's called savings. I see so much value more in having the money that I have than having so much money and doing crap with it. And... To be honest, I'd rather do the right things with the money that I have. Take care of my, my, my family, myself, the people that needs me, that has needs, instead of the things that they want. Having, the ones that you have may be nice, but it's only nice. It's, it's, it's expandable. It's replaceable. You could get that at any time once you have the availability to do so. Now... When I was originally bringing this up in the video with how the world government is not going to tell you the truth, 
they are not going to tell citizens the real truth about what's going to happen with this coronavirus pandemic. They already see the future. Why do you think with military strategists and people who play certain games, they already could see like, hey, if this is going to happen, this is what's going to be the outcome. This is going to be the results of the end game. Second wave is probably already past this point with this pandemic. Yet people don't choose to see it because they don't care. They're ignoring the facts and the truth. It's all in the pudding. The truth is right there. Coin shortage crisis? We're going to run out of money. And the time that happens, then they're going to have a reason for people being chipped to be the norm. It's going to be in babies. It's going to be in children. It's going to be in your parents. And... um. It could be in you. A lot of people chooses to be asleep because they're too comfortable with the government. But if the government was to crash down right now, right? And there was a huge economic crash. Everything will go haywire. We may be in a transitioning period right now, even though it's, it, it's not the end times. It's the end times for the normal period of what we call normal. The new normal is going to be weird. It's going to be psychotic. And a lot of people in the future is not going to like it at all. And I can see it already. If they're already implementing social distancing to their advantages as well because of this COVID-19 pandemic... It's because of the COVID-19 that this future is going to take place. It's because of COVID-19 that they can have a reason where we don't need to use cash or coins anymore. It's because of COVID-19 that people won't be socializing on average like they used to and staying six feet away from each other. It's because of COVID-19 Many people now has tr more trust issues more than ever because of the six feet social distancing because they were brainwashed to believe that six feet social distancing is the way to protect yourself, which I understand most cases, in many cases it is from a common cold, a flu, for anything. But more people are now going to think to themselves, well, there's no point doing all of this. I'll just be on my smartphone. So... Because of all of this, more people are now putting their energy on their smartphones and on social media. Of course, society is going to advance. I have no issues with that. I'm on my smartphone right now. But it's what you do with it that counts. It's what you know that counts. It, it's, what you, it's what choices you make that counts. If you make the smart choices that you know that is right or not. Because in the end of the day... The government or the governments of the world, worldwide, nationally, right? Because of this national coin shortage crisis, they're not going to tell you the truth. They're being quiet about it. They're just beating around the bush. They're not going to just keep it real and be like, look, we're running out of money. In the future, this is going to go to crap. In order for things to, and the economy, the economy to, uh, to uh, bounce back. And push forward is if we sell our, our, our lives away. I don't know what's going to happen. Many people are wondering, well, I need to survive. I need to live. What am I supposed to do? There could be alternative options. But many people does not want to be chipped and cattled like a cow. Are be followed 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. No one wants to lose their privacy completely because of what the world government thinks is best for the citizens. Or to protect the citizens of the world. A lot of the world leaders don't really care about you. They only care about money, their reputation, and their status. So they're going to do whatever means as necessary to take care of you while it's benefiting, benefiting them. This is the world. I, li I live in New York. I, li I used to live in a city. 
I want to move back to the city in the future. It'll be nice. It'll be nice to be around the city again. But how things are going, if I even travel to a different state or a country, I'm going to be quarantined the time when I come back to where I'm, I'm originally living at. Why? I'm a human being. This is how crazy this COVID-19 pandemic has gotten. People are really, really, really blowing this out of proportion. They're taking this thing very seriously. And that should be a sign for many people to be careful and wake up. It feels like you're in prison and people think this is normal. We're heavily just waiting for something to happen. And myself included because I want to make sure that I'm prepared for the best and for the worst. You may be sitting back and being quiet about it, right? And that's not a bad thing because... Most people of the world, once you tell them stuff like the things that I'm saying, they'll look at you as if you're crazy, you're weird, something's wrong with you. That's why I just keep to myself. I keep to myself. Only a few friends, my spouse, fam- some people in my family, they actually agree that this coronavirus pandemic and uh, the agenda that they could push with this is, is, is bullshit. Yet many people is not going to give a crap. They're not going to care. The world government is not going to tell you everything is going to be okay. They're not saying that things are fine. They're not happy about it. Donald Trump's elections and all the things that are happening, it may be delayed. And people are not really concerned about politics that much because it has nothing to do with them. People want their cake and, and they want to eat it too. This is how a lot of people are following the trends. They're, they're following the new norm. The new norm now today in America is to not think for yourself, but have the government and the president and the world leaders think for you, think for the citizens. I like thinking for myself. I like taking the time to make my own decisions, not let the, not let the world governments make decisions for me. This is Woken Up here, guys. Peace out. Let me know what you think.